Well, USDA recently rolled out more announcements about helping boost broadband in rural areas, but for many in remote areas of the country, millions of dollars of investment hasn't fixed the internet issues. But is Starlink the answer? John Phipps gives us his review. Now, some of you with sharp eyes noticed last week that my Starlink equipment had arrived after only 19 months. It took me a while to get around to it, but this week I installed the receiver. I put mine on my roof for maximum clearance and less chance of hitting it with a lawnmower or a falling branch. The instructions are IKEA simple, just a diagram. Mount or place the antenna receiver in a clear sp overhead space. The phone out download will help you select such a good location. Plug the receiver into the router and plug the router into the power. The app walks you through the setup and initialization. It takes about 30 minutes to get it up and running, at least did, did, did for me. A uh, couple of points. They include a clever carrying bag that's useful if you're mounting it above ground and you have to climb with it. But the bag doesn't work well if you carry it upside down so that the thing can fall out. So the small dark spot you see on one corner is an epoxy tank repair to fix that broken corner when I dropped it on a sidewalk. It's working, so obviously it's farmer proof. Also, the roof mount is like a patio umbrella and allowed too much rotational slop in my judgment. So I drilled a hole through the diameter and bolted both tubes together firmly. If you've been watching closely all this time, you could have seen it adjust to the satellites in real time. I've killed about two hours doing that. Now, as for performance, the jury's still out. Depending on the time of day, 6 to 10 p.m. in the evening being the worst, my downloading speed is anywhere from 8 to 80 megabits per second. Here are some speed test screenshots at various times of day. Downloading is the important number for streaming, which I think is the obvious future of television. If you have a really big 4K TV, you need really about 15 megabits. Uploading speeds are, well, just sad. Unless you are gaming or uploading TikTok or YouTube video, this poor speed may not be that big a deal breaker. But the latency, that's the ping times, are very poor as well, at least mine have been, which is also bad news for gamers. Neighbors who have had their Starlinks for a while have had better results and tell me that it will get better. Of course, more satellites will be launched and coverage will be improved and also speed. Right now, though, Starlink is underperforming my local ISP in some ways, especially uploading. They also bumped the price to $110 a month while starting to weasel about performance expectations. Okay, the bottom line is Starlink is a godsend for farmers with poor or no broadband access, streaming speed, or otherwise. But it's still a work in progress with capacity and coverage issues that may need to be approved for many areas. Very interesting. Thanks, John. Well, when we come back, Machinery Pete, he has tractor tails from just down the road. Stay with us.